here is an Elmbrook versus ketchup. So as you can see, it is set to the 1.28 gallon mark on a 1.28 gallon toilet. So let's see if it can take ketchup. And I'm using only two packets this time, unlike the pressure light. Let's see, press and release like was intended. And this is exactly what these toilets will do on normal use, and it is exactly why I hate them. So, I'm gonna give this a second flush. Press and release. Well, to be fair, it's not supposed to take those things, but honestly, I'm very disappointed that that stayed there. So, as you can see, it still left that. The water line is just about here, so these are a little bit higher, which means that anything above the water line on a class five will have to be brushed off with the toilet brush, and the water is still a little bit yellowish. So let's give this a third flush, press and release. So, it does well getting dirt from around the sides, but anything like ketchup that can stick, the rinse is worthless. Like, honestly. Imagine what this would have done on four things of ketchup. I'm gonna try this on more toilets. It just proves how worthless these modern ones are.